Hello, gentlemen, my son, demon, and welcome to Mind Industry. Yeah, I guess I should say welcome back to Mind Industry because I have made a video on this before, but that was quite a while ago and it's changed quite a bit since. Like you can probably tell here if you saw the last Mind Industry video, now we actually have a planet that we can look around on. Uh, do you see all of these? Uh, the fuck are they called? Hex? No. P Pentec. Pentagon. Hexagons. This is a pentagon. This is a hexagon. You see all of these hexagons? Yeah, those are all individual maps. There are specific maps like uh, Ground Zero, Frozen Forest, and then some others open up later. Like some very specific uh, special maps. And then there's just everything else. And Tech Tree has a little, is a little different too. And yeah, I don't even have the router to start off with, but I decided to do this because, well, I haven't played Monastery in a while, I really wanted to, I've been wanting to for a while, and because, well, I had no clue what else to play, like, I have way too fucking many games that are, like, better for streaming, because they are usually more like things you should see everything of in one go or something like that so not quite a video type but uh, oh well and i'm still waiting on uh, smart cap below zero to fully release as soon as that happens i'm gonna start live streaming that but for now let's go into ground zero so uh just in case you don't know what this is uh, Mind Industry is essentially, I'll pause the game as you can see here, by pressing space you can pause uh, But you can't move, you can, it's more just for planning um, Mind Industry is about protecting your core Which is this, later on you'll be able to actually upgrade your fucking core, which is sick But it, it's about protecting your core uh, And against waves of enemies and you can see up here in the corner a wave one of ten and the wave starts in f excuse me in four minutes and there are resources all over the map and you have to gather those resources send them into your core in order to actually use them so you need conveyor belts and stuff uh, to uh, send it into the core and yeah when they enter the core you get them well just you have them uh, i think the core can hold one thousand of each reads or one no it can't be one thousand like it can hold a specific amount of uh every resource i uh, it says capacity four thousand so i think one thousand of every resource is this small core here or maybe it's four thousand of each resource so there's copper, like you can see here, which is used primarily, uh, or which is primarily used for the basic stuff. This down here is your build menu. You build shit with it, and you need copper for everything you can build with it, essentially, uh, to begin with. So yeah, uh, this is land. Uh, it is a good idea to have land. Like it's a good idea to have every resource on the map that you can. At that moment mine send it into your core just so you can uh when you when the waves are done and you launch onto the next area you have those resources and can well research things in your tech tree uh yeah uh let's see you are this little drone you can fly around you can also take control uh of machines and such but i but i've forgotten how to do that uh let's see i need a ton of copper good i can add another one there good once all this build i will start getting a bunch of copper No, honestly, if I quickly do that, uh, it's a port building and then I can mine instead, just to quickly get copper. 
there. There we go. Now I'll just start getting a ton of copper. Uh, I can scrap things. And this is also scrap. Which later on you'll be able to make into multiple different rituals or slag or a bunch of good shit. And uh, yeah, you essentially just need to defend your shit. And that's it. Uh, later on you'll also be able to get power and or better weaponry than just these fucking duos which the duos are fine in the beginning but later on they just stop working essentially because they don't do enough damage uh ooh, there's a bunch of lead right there okay here ah oh, fuck right right I don't have, uh, don't have this. Well, I could just get the copper wall here now. Uh, it'll take some resources away, but it'll be fine, I guess. Good, so now I have a basic copper wall. Which means I can also... Start blocking this shit off. Holy shit, there was just enough to fucking finish that shit. Good, and now I need to build my defenses. That is pretty damn important. Uh, how the fuck am I gonna do this? Okay. Okay, dokey. I need a ton more cover. I can actually remove that just... Yeah. I'm probably not gonna need it. Uh, Cause, well, I have all of this up here instead. Come on. I just hope they go to this side, cause if they start going through this wall, I'll be kinda fucked. Well, I could make some... Like a fast, uh, little thing down here. Oh shit. Come on. Good. It's going for this side. Which means this should, it's gonna work. Yeah, that's fine for now. Okie dokie. I also want a ton of lead, like as much lead as I can. Uh, I don't have a bridge, so I shouldn't. Black that off. Good. And then boom. And then I just need to direct all of this down into the core. And then I'll start getting lead. Which I can then use to upgrade and yeah. Boom, and now I can start getting lead. Ooh, almost finished this, come on. And hell yeah. And as you can see here, this cover wall has taken some damage. Later on, you'll be able to get drones that repair or some things called menders which you place and that can repair, repair everything around it. Uh, but that requires power and you'll need to manage power as well and i think mean, this is just a really fun game to play okay and uh, you can also skip forward in rounds actually uh a distributor a sword oh i need the lead the bridge conveyor let's also just put the cover in that oh there are only fucking two enemies <laughs> Oh no, and dead. 
That was easy. And then we just skip to the next round. Search. Oh yeah. And then inverted sword on kids. Like that as well. Hell yeah. Ooh. Got the room and who almost killed that? Yikes. Yes, uh, what I just did there was create an overflow kit, so if this isn't being used, or if this is filled up like this line, uh, then all the uh, cover is just gonna go down into my base, building that up quicker. And I should actually, yeah. Oh yeah, now I have bigger wall. Good thing these duos can fucking take care of air, otherwise I would be kind of screwed there. Oh, and now I've secured the sector. Meaning... They don't attack here anymore. So all of this is now... has now become useless. So now what I can actually do is just use this area to just get resources. I can always come back when I have better tech and... Uh, for example, turn the scrap into, I think it's lead, uh, thorium, I think, uh, to, uh, it's copper and something else, I can't remember, uh, that scrap turns into and then just send that down and sand and what, I mean, there's a bunch I can fucking do here later on. Uh, good, my resources are fine. I would like to get the scatter before I move on, though. Because that is quite an important tool, to say the least. Okay, okay, there we go. Now I'm getting more cover and lead into it. Boom. Oh, 40 more lead. But uh, yeah, well, even uh, uh, if you are done, like you played the entire game all the way through, you're still not done. There's still mods. Like people have created mods, maps, everything for this. And there are some pretty fucking good mods out there, gotta say. Uh, yeah, this game, it's just a blast to play. It's, and you can play with your friends if they have it too. Which means you can just fuck around and oh my god, it's it gonna be just even more of a blast, really. Okay, I can now... boom. Hell yeah, scatter. Scatter is uh, an anti-air gun. So, yeah, that helps with all the flyers. Okay, dokey. But I think I have done enough here. So now since I have captured this zone, I can go on to another zone. I can go to Frozen Forest and here, as you can see, another locked map is there. Or I can actually just go to one of the nearby areas. Collect resources from there, would do need titanium, capture the craters, amass synth, 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 synth yeah. Uh, uh, research silicon. Uh, ah, I need coal, right. Wait, complete produced scrap. Actually, I'm not done. I can. Since I have some scrap up here, I can just quickly just 
Get some scrap, why the fuck not? Oh. Okay, uh, tech tree. Boom, I have not produced scrap. I produced slag, it's the next one. Yikes. Uh. Capture frozen forest and research menta and combustion generator. The menta is the one that prepares uh, things around it, and combustion generator, well, it's power that you need to give coal. Titanium, meta glass, slag, coal. Yeah, there is no coal on this map, I don't think, sadly. Actually, can I? This is not sad. Shit. Well, alright, then... I guess there really is nothing else I can do here. Okay, so, where do I want to go next? It looks like, based on the map, that there's a lot of sand on these. Wait, was there sand? For no, there wasn't. Okay. Oh, and since they no longer spawn, I can actually come up here now. Which I couldn't before because they spawned here. That This was their drop zone. So... I want some sand. This seems like there's also water there. The question is just coal. Uh, ah, fuck it. Let's go with this one. Threat, medium, low, 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 medium, medium, medium. Fuck it. Yeah, I can give it another name. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. This is a basic landing. Uh, this is what it, uh, I believe, gives us from the start. And then we can choose to add more resources in. Uh, which... I'm not, oh, this is what it costs to start. I don't think... Well, maybe some copper. Yeah. Good. Add in another thousand copper so it's actually have shit to build with. You can see now I start with copper. A resource is copper, lead, sand, coal. Mmm. Music to my ears. And we used almost half of all the copper I took in with me. So where exactly is it? I'm guessing... Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Uh, there's a bunch of coal. Ooh, there's scatters right there. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, this uh, is... Oh, this doesn't work. Unless I grab it and then repair it, meaning I quickly do that so to remove it and then click again uh, to build it. That way it makes it mine. Uh, sadly I'm not faster because I could really use being faster. Okay, good. It is done here. Uh, I hope this is the only place. Okay, that's not that. So it's most likely the only place. If it's not, then, well, fuck. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Boom. Good. I placed that there just so I could um, well, complete this so I could unlock more. Uh, 
also this uh, the whole tech tree the tech tree resources obviously but it takes the resources from all areas you have so the previous place uh, it, it's still clicking copper and lead constantly so i can use from there and give me a graphite press so i can get some motherfucking graphite you need graphite to make better miners so that's gonna be good once you get it Okay, here comes the first wave, and I'm not done making this. I think that was a suicider. Yeah, so some units are also suiciders that just rush in to bomb your walls to destroy them, hopefully. When I say hopefully, I mean hopefully for the enemy. Uh, so that they can come through more easily. And enemies will just ignore your defenses honestly like their goal is just to get to your base and destroy it that's it so it doesn't matter if you have an entire gun wall if they can walk over it they will but hey at least now i can make the or oh, more guns at the wall hopefully all of them hell yeah okay let's see what we can make silicon smelter yes absolutely just yes so that requires power which have i even re no i have not let's get that and a power node and a mender and a battery and a pyrotide mixer which is more like ammo really so that's not that's useful for now but hey whatever And now we're getting graphite. This isn't a huge production, it's just now we're getting some graphite. Uh, ooh, which unlocked so we can get Scorch. Uh, but no thanks. now it's set up so we can get silicon however i still need power uh which luckily this is shit down here uh if i do this one distributor all of these good into the distrib distributor distributor i guess it depends where you're from but now we can have all of these generators up hell yeah which means now we've got power and boom now we make it now we're making silicon which means we'll be able to get solar panels for just passive power when the sun's out because right now as you can see it's quite dark because well we're on the we're at night because well there's the whole day night cycle now solar system and all you know okay but now we don't need to worry that much about air anymore there's 25 waves which 
fucking hell. But we won't have to really worry about air, because the scatters will take care of that. Also, something I, thing I forgot to mention was the different uh, weapons take different ammo. If you click on the little question mark here, you can see what they take, and you can see a bunch of stats about them. Good there, now this will hopefully get enough fucking sand. So it generates silicon a little bit faster. Just just a wee bit. Actually if I send these up there instead. Good. Just to more evenly spread uh, the sand. Good. And graphite, well, we had started, uh, I started production over here. Ooh, three enemies now. Are they still suiciders? Uh, no, I think one of them uh, was actually like a uh, shooter kind of thingy. Yeah, now I have some Mendes in. And this is nowhere near enough power. As you can see in the power node, it's taking... Oh, it has minus 84 power per second. This one solar panel only gives six, six power per second. So yeah, I definitely need some better, which uh, luckily I can make right here. And uh, be careful with putting it next to a conveyor because uh, they'll just output an any conveyor type thing next to them. Unless the conveyor is specifically one that can't take from the side. Which later on you will get that. I think it's a thorium one. Uh, which can't take in uh, items from the side. So that's a nice one to have. <laughs> there we go. That's providing a ton more power. Uh, I guess I should put batteries up. Just so I can actually store any in case there's a stop in production. This way, these Mendes now repair should. I should probably place more Mendes, but I don't feel like doing it for now. Oh, yeah, I can finally get the Scorch. Now that's gonna be much. <laughs> Hello, Ark, my best friend. Yeah, that sounds awful. Oh, well, uh, the Ark. Give me and the lancer. Oh my god! But the arc and the lancer they take power in order to shoot. But damn, they're good. Oh shit! Right, I forgot the enemies uh, also have special types. Fuck. This might not be enough, honestly. Okay, place some more solar panels. To just generate more power. Because it was at negative or oh, minus a hundred and something. So now it still varies a lot because it doesn't have constant coal. But it should help the power a bit more. But I will actually end this episode here because I've been recording for a little over an hour now. And uh, I don't know how short it's going to be, how I'm going to edit this yet. Once I figure that out, I don't know how much, how long I can record for. But uh, it's, I hope you enjoyed, have enjoyed this video. If you've hit the like button down below and leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel and you'd like what you see, hit that like button and click the little bell to know if you never upload a new video. Oh, fuck. Uh, and if you like this uh, game and what to more it's specifically tell me down in the comments because i like this game i really want to play more of it i just don't play much of it on my own time which is really sad but i have so fucking many games i rarely know what to fucking play even though i have so many good ones i want to play it's really annoying <laughs> but yeah bye I want my kids to go.